Jaya, glorious beings. The topic for this video is galactic focus on the upgrade of human systems. I do believe that there are lots of forces at play that are watching over us as a human race. And these forces are stimulating or activating people, human beings, certain parts of technology, evolution, certain new political systems emerging. When people have new ideas, you know, something that is really rising in their minds and they go like, wow, it would be so nice if we could evolve in that direction as human race, if we could create that new political system, if we could, you know, implement, for instance, that technology, if we could change that specific bit of relationship that we have with nature, if we could change that aspect of the way we do business or the way we lead people, um, so there are lots of places where, as a human race, we are really tapping into new frequencies. And the idea is this. It's a very simple one. Instead of just fighting what doesn't work, you just create new designs. You heard that before, right? If you want to create consciously the future, you have to understand or have a vision about what this future is going to look like. So just saying to something, pointing out to technologies that don't work or political systems that don't work and be like, this doesn't work, it's not good enough. You have to come up with new systems and reveal to the world these new systems. What do they look like? Practically embodied, grounded, not just like a dream, like a concept. That's great. You know, this is where it starts. It's, the, it's in the architectural spheres of our consciousness, in this design spheres. Yes, of course, it's good to have the concept, but once you start manifesting it and bring it, bringing it into the planet and into humankind, you go like, okay, what does this look like? This is the core idea. It is what does this look like? And what you have to understand is that there are forces at play right now which are activating very specific human beings. It means that you might be right now the target of a certain frequency because you've got a certain idea and you have been activated and that frequency you can just tune in and, and realize when you are just on an average flow of life force that doesn't actually change fundamentally who you are and when there is a specific activation happening. So that flow state that you enter in when you are channeling something, when you are downloading these codes, you know, you feel like, okay, there is a download. What, why do we call it download? I'm getting a download. What does that mean? It means literally because you are transferring a certain field of consciousness or a certain idea from the collective, from a grid of consciousness, and there is something that is entering your field that was not active or present before. This is why we call it download. It's because it's exactly what's going on when you log on onto a website and you download this video or you download a piece of music, for instance. The same happens when you try to imagine how we are evolving as a human race. And so all you have to do is try to imagine or you know, experience the fact that there are forces at play. There is a galactic grid. There is there are sources, expertise sources, uh, consciousness, intelligence that are working with us to help us evolve as human race. So when you get activated, when you get like this entering into this space of resonance that might be in deeper meditation, but sometimes it's in creative flow. You might be creating this music and you're like, wow, I feel so high right now. Why do you feel high? Because there is a certain frequency that activates your neural pathways, it activates something in your mind, in your brain, and this download of energy feels like a new field of, of, of consciousness coming into your field. This is why it feels so exciting. This is why we do it. Okay? So once we start, as a human race, activating these new codes and activating these new ideas, this is how we evolve. And you, wherever you are, you might be one of these agents. You know, maybe you are just 
being entertained here online and just watching some videos without creating something fundamentally different, just changing your life. But maybe you, you are one of these people, one of these persons who, is, who has a vision, who you, you know you have a mission in your life. And if you have a mission, it's like, how are you going to implement that? The first step is like, optimize the basics in your life. Make sure that everything, you know, that there is no major obstruction. The, your microcosmic life, this is the place where it starts. Okay? So once you optimize your life, once you're able to function healthily and happily as a human being, then you start uh, activating these new ideas, these new pathways, and then you bring that into uh, planetary manifestation. Um, the code words that I, I'm using is, is um, you can activate what we would call the genius mind, right? The genius mind would be this place inside of you that feels like entering into resonance. You can enter into energetic alignment, life hacking expansions, Life hacking expansions, what does it mean? It means that suddenly you have a new idea, a new concept, something bright and uh, exciting that comes into your field and then you start activating that and you bring into the, the, the planet and humankind. You have what we would call the conceptual spheres, you know, the design spheres. What does it mean? It means that there are places where the design of the planet and humankind are being activated. I believe that there are beings out there who've got the programs of our evolution and are transmitting that into humankind. It doesn't mean that those programs are, you know, fixed. It's like you get an idea through the filter of your mind and your own ex experience and, exp uh, and uh, expression. You are going to create and generate something that is going to be your own unique expression of this truth that you are feeling coming through you. Anyway, there is a lot here. Uh, one of the core ideas also is to evolve beyond the traditional biochemical reward system that we are in, you know. This is what is regulating our instinctual needs to, you know, to, to eat, to create, to procreate. You know, this is the, the, the biochemical reward system with hormones and peptides and all this stuff that is going on inside of us and we are craving for things and then we take action to respond to these cravings. Um, there is a lot about the human systems that as they become obsolete and are being replaced by new waves of, of being, then, you know, naturally that's how we are evolving into, into our future. Um, I think also something that is core is that we might enter into massive simplification of our human systems. Like there is right now something that is a little bit... Uh, too complex when it comes to, for instance, uh, political structures, administrative structures. There are lots of things out there that are aimed at just controlling the human mind and human life that you go like, okay, well, we can enter into divine law, we can enter into a divine or um, energetic space where most of the structures that are in place right now, my belief is that they are going to be massively simplified and um, we are going to enter into ease and flow as a natural way of being instead of struggle and, and pain and suffering and disturbance and you know conflict rivalry friction all that stuff i mean this is a lot about what has been happening in humankind until now but i do believe that we have the power to enter into uh, flow harmony um, states that are going to be our main uh, center and way of being and on a personal level you know maybe it's something that you can experience you might feel that sometimes you're just like in this in this state of beauty and harmony and you would like to stay in that state and then you you be, you are sent off track you lose your center because something comes into your field that creates a friction or a trigger in your field and you're not able to sustain that state but my belief is that you can be in this surfing state you know in this state where you feel the waves of life coming through your system and engaging with you in you in ways that create harmony and just uh, beauty all the time and so entering into these flow states I think is one of the keys that we are going to uh, discover in in the future there is so much out there that we don't even know 
that exist. <laughs> and so I don't know about you, but I'm really excited about the human race. I'm excited about the future. Of course, we've got lots of things to optimize, lots of things to bring into alignment. But um, for now, simply consider that we are receiving help. And if you want to be an agent of, of evolution, just start taking steps, align yourself, call for help and realize that when you sit down or you start creating something, you start meditating or doing something in your life, any kind of action, you are going to be uh, vibrating with different frequencies. And if you have the freedom to explore all that, a little bit like a mad scientist going into these mystical states and just feeling the different frequencies of being, you will realize that there are certain thought patterns, certain ideas, certain alignments and certain ways of being that are let's call it higher frequency than, than others. It means that there are certain states which just vibrate on a normal state. It's not necessarily excited state, it's just like average. And then there is these peak experiences that you start tapping into and then become your new way of being, your new default state. So I believe there is a lot out there and um, I encourage you to, to go and explore, trust, you know, what I'm posting over here is just to inspire you, to make you realize that maybe you are having similar ideas and to let you know that, yeah, this, a lot of people are feeling that way, a lot of people are feeling that we are ready for a new upgrade in the, for the planet and humankind and that it's important to, to stay focused and keep on taking steps forward. Tune into the future, anchor your life into the future rather than into the past, rather than trying to duplicate the you know what already exists on this planet there is a lot of new things coming up and um, i want you to be inspired i want you to to realize that you might be touched right now by magic by a new idea by something that that is uh, very innovative uh, for for the planet and i want you to realize that there are forces at play that are ready to engage in this mission with you call for help you know Activate that, that stream, activate that frequency, and magic will come your way. I love you. I'll see you soon.